go and sit in that Ferrari. Go and sit in that Rolls Royce. Go and sit in that Lamborghini or that Aston Martin. As a matter of fact, go to your dream location. If it's within the region, if it's within the country, if it's feasible, if it's economically viable, right now, go to that region. Go there on your day off or on your break. Spend the day there suited and booted, fresh haircuts, smelling like a million dollars. The dream car that you wish to own, go to that dealership and sit in the car. This is the best visualization exercise I could possibly give you. Now, I speak about the importance on the concept of visualization every single night before you sleep. Visualize your dream life, exactly what you want affirmations, day by day writing, of course, you have to couple that with action. You know, I'm not going to be one of these guys that say just law of attraction is just you shut your eyes and you look, the law of attraction is very simple. People overcomplicate this. You attract what you are. You don't attract what you want. You have to be on the vibration and on the right, right frequency to attract what you desire. But in terms of visualization specifically, the best exercise for this is just go and sit in your dream car. Just, just go and go to the Ferrari dealership, especially if you live in Europe or America. This is very simple because there's there's ones that shouldn't be too far away from where you live. Go to the dealership, go there suited and booted, stoicism, nonchalant, confidence, and just sit in one of the vehicles. Perhaps more specifically, the, the model that you'd like to drive, the colour, specific colour, whether it's crimson red, for example, and you just sit in, in that vehicle and you pick up the smell of the leather. Exactly the electronics. You've got the computer screen right in the center of the dashboard, the steering wheel. You feel it as you rub your hands on top of it. You can hear the engine roar. You know, just really soaking it in. It's the emotion, it's how you feel when you sit in that vehicle. And now when you go away and back to your nine to five or your routine, it's gonna help you visualize better because now, you're able to visualize what you want. Here's one big mistake a lot of people make. When they say visualize, they can't get into detail of what they want to visualize. They say dream car, but they don't know what model, they don't know what color, they don't know what car. Or it could be the niche they're working in or specific field or business they want to work in or lifestyle. Do a day in the life. For example, this is what I did and I'll give you an example. I was fortunate enough um, I don't live too far from what is called the New Forest here in the UK, which is uh, situated, located in the south region, the south coast of the UK. It's a massive New Forest and you have beautiful little villages that are dotted around the New Forest. And you have a Ferrari, you have a Ferrari dealership located in one of these villages. And I was fortunate enough to go there, spent the day, went to the Ferrari dealership, sat in one of these cars. And it really enables you to focus in the moment. Force yourself to be present in the moment. Visualize the scenario, visualize the situation. Imagine yourself, shut your eyes, envision yourself picking up the smells, the feelings, the touches, the hearing the engine roar, your foot on the pedal and the accelerator, pacing down through the, the lavender fields of the south of France and Nice, as an example, right? It just helps you visualize more. And what I did is a further visualization exercise because this isn't just specific to cars. This is just visualization in general. The title might be a bit different. Is the area that I live in currently, it's a place that I visualized. So I went to that region, I went to that area and I just had a day in the life. It was on a Saturday on the weekend when I wasn't working. I was suited and booted, tailored fitting, freshly ironed white shirt, smelling like a million dollars I had. Um, Aventus Creed aftershave on, a phenomenal aftershave, phenomenal aftershave, absolutely sublime. Pulled that on, had a haircut, shaped up my beard, my hair was done, skincare, everything. I was obviously hitting the gym on a consistent basis. <laughs> had a nice watch on as well. And just, I lived that day, on that day off that I had, as if I was worth a few million. And just the way that you operate, the manner, and the energy that you the energy and the confidence that you exude, your peers and the surroundings, they pick it up. People start staring at you. People treat you differently. I'm walking into the local supermarket and I'm asking for one of the workers there, uh, where am I able to find the bananas in this aisle? And rather than him saying it's somewhere over there, he looks at me and goes, no problem, sir, no problem, boss. And he escorts me to this aisle. 
the treatment is different, the confidence that you exude. So I lived this day in the life and I sat there with a nice, uh, sat there in a nice coffee shop, nice coffee in my hands, just taking in the environment, the feelings, the emotions, the, the surroundings in terms of the quality of people that are in this area. And if I had my day off as a person that was the best version of myself that was the finished article, how would he live on that day? And that's exactly what I was doing. And I, as I said, went to that Ferrari dealership. I lived that day as if I was already there. The feelings, the emotions, and just the way that I operated from minute to minute, from hour to hour, that right there is the best visualization exercise that I could possibly give you. And it's so underrated because a lot of people don't speak about it. People say, just write affirmations. I am so happy and grateful. That's great. I'm not, I'm not putting that down at all. That's something that I do on a regular basis. But this is a step further because now it's the reality. This is something that your brain consciously can feel because it's, it can't deceive your eyes. It's right in front of you. You know, it, it cannot perceive you as a liar because you are actually living it. You've actually transformed your life for that day. So now when you go back, you have a picture in your mind that's more specific, that's more detailed. Now it gives you that motivation and drive to continue, to, to continue on that progression, to continue on the path, to, to live the life that you want to live. And I think not a lot of people speak about this and it is certainly underrated. Pick a day that you're free. Pick a day where no one can really disturb you. You don't have any commitments that day. You don't have to see anyone that day where you've literally got nothing planned. Hit the gym in the morning, put a suit on and just do it. Just do it. Just take action. Spend the day because people will say, oh, it's a day wasted. No, because A, it's class is resting. But two, it is productive in one way because it's a visualization exercise. It's all conducive and advantageous for your future self. So Again, just go and sit in that Ferrari. Go and sit in that Rolls Royce. And as you see, as the years progress, and when you actually accomplish your goals, you will look back at moments like these, where it's all these little actions that you took that helped you along the way to get to where you need to get to. So hopefully that is valuable for yourself. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And I'll see all of you guys for my next video. Peace.